rather remarkable image. What is it, Matt? Good morning. It is a moonbow, Charlie. Very good morning to you. This was captured in Scotland last night. It's the same as a rainbow, but you need a very bright moon to uh, have the light strong enough to reflect off some, to reflect off some uh, of the shower clouds which were passing by, producing a spectacular shot at Dingwall earlier on. But what you're noticing across the highlands and the islands of Scotland this morning, not only how windy it is, but how mild it is out there. Some of the temperatures to start the day significantly above where they should be for this stage in November. Double figures, 13 degrees at the moment in Edinburgh and Aberdeen if you're just about to head off to work. By the time you're coming home, though, these same places, a noticeable difference. Temperatures will be dropping substantially through the day. This is actually the warmest part of the day and also the wettest part for some here across Scotland. To bring about the changes, got a weather front pushing in, bringing persistent rain across the northwest highlands, some scattered rain showers elsewhere. That band of rain will be pushing southwards through the day. Away from it, though, to start with, a lot of dry, grey weather to begin with for much of England, Wales, Northern Ireland. Just a few spots of light rain or drizzle here and there. Some of that cloud will break up across uh, some central southern parts of England, Wales into the afternoon as we see a bit more breeze developing. And temperatures will hold fairly steady throughout the day, sticking at around 12, 13, maybe 14 degrees. Here's our band of rain, though, into northern England, stretching across, clearing across Northern Ireland for the afternoon. To north of it, some strong to gale force winds. Some sunshine, though, developing, a scattering of showers, and as temperatures drop, just three degrees there in Lowick at three o'clock, you'll start to see some of those showers turning wintry over the hills. Some of those coming to lower levels through the nights across northern Scotland. Elsewhere, clearing skies for many as we see rain quickly push southwards during the first half of the night. That introduces the colder air for tomorrow morning. Will be a little bit of frost around, much more noticeable chill though through tomorrow and indeed Saturday. Some overnight frost to take us into Saturday, but as the winds fall lighter, it's going to feel pretty chilly first thing in the morning. Some sunshine by day, but a bit more rain by the time we hit Sunday. I'll have more details on that later. Back to you both. Thanks, man.